Guess we're just about done, my friend. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله جميعا رجعت لكم اليوم في الحلقة السادسة من سلسلة الميداليات الذهبية ويلا أخليكم مع المقطع أول شيء معانا في المهمة هذه أنك تكلم تومي تلقى في البار وكلمه الشيء الثاني أنك تدور على لينيا يعني روح عند كل واحد أقعد أسأل عن لينيا لينيا أسأل عن الأمر الثالث أن ما يقبضون عليك الشرطة وبس يلا اخليكم مع الفيديو دوتش اس او شي ويل فيلز لايك وي ار فاينلي جيتن باك اون اور فيت يو فايند ا باير فور ذيم بونز وي ستيل نوت يت بس هوزي از وركن اون ات وين وي هيدن ويست سون اي دونت نو فيلز لايك ثينكس هاف تشينجد ذا هول وورلد تشينجد They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Come on, girl. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot Mike... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards. My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last 10 years. I'm bored with being left. Will you shut the hell up? Get the hell off me. Get out of here. Don't come back. Hey, one last drink. Yeah, just one more. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, Lenny! Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, 
I think you're right, partner. your mouth, mister. Ha <laughs> ha 
not again. الشرط الأول في المهمة هذه إنك ما تستخدم أي علاج وعندك حد أقصى ست طلقات تضيعها الشرط الثالث عندك 15 هيت شوت والشرط الرابع اللي هو يعتبر أصعب شيء إنك تقتل كل اللي على حسن يلاحقونكم في أقل من 55 ثانية وبس يلا أخليكم مع الفيديو Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Yes! Hook that over the bars! See if you can pull them off! What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. Ah, there's no... Morons. Ah. Ah. 
yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to skinny. Get out here. Norman, go! Oh. You always was a letdown, oh. you fat sack of crap! Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Manny! Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of you! You have We lost it this time! In the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa there. I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah!
المهمة هذه عندك شرطين الشرط الأول أنك تخلصها في أقل من سبع دقائق وعشرين ثانية فإذا في كات سينز حاول تسوي لها سكيب الشيء الثاني أنك أول ما توقف عند النهر تصيد سمكة في أقل من دقيقة وثلاثين ثانية هاي آرثر كمير مينت What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, girl. Looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down. By the shore. Come on, follow me. Now first, we need some bu- Wait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm going to try my luck over there. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. I see, I see. Uh, 
this one's a chain picker. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... The guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. وبكذا نكون وصلنا يا شباب لنهاية الفيديو. نراكم على خير بإذن الله في الحلقات الجاية. How you boys get known? Great, we caught a fish. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.